Problem Solving by Angelica Ibanez. The grade level I will be working with is fourth grade. I also know that most fourth graders are in the concrete operational stage, which means that they can think through steps when working with the problem as well go backward. The concept of this video is problem solving. The student will solve problems connected to everyday activities and experiences in and outside of school. The student will be able to solve the problem by using the CUBE problem strategy. CUBE stands for circle all numbers, underline keywords, bracket the question, eliminate unnecessary information. I will engage the students by showing a ball, a video game, a movie, and top erasers with price tags. I will ask the students several questions regarding the prices and how much money they were given. I then will model the cube problem solving strategy. Then each group will receive two word problems with no multiple choice answers. The students will practice using the cube problem solving strategy as a small group. Once they have finished, I will start the interactive PowerPoint quiz. I will then close the lesson by telling the students that we use problem solving every day without knowing it, such as knowing what to buy at the grocery store or at the mall. The lesson is informal. The student controls the choice and action they want to perceive in the word problem, but I will still intervene. The materials will be handed, but there is still an objective I want to accomplish. This costs 25 cents. Cost 25 cents, okay? 25 cents. This costs $15. 15, okay? This costs $15. 15. This costs $30. Okay? And this costs $150. So in your bag, there's money, and I want you to tell me, and with in the Manila paper, as a group, tell me what you can buy and what you can't. Like, what can you buy with the money that you have? Forty-five dollars. Forty-five. What could you buy? Oh, we could buy the, the movie and the game. Let's read it together. A show store sold 162 pairs of shoes. The goal was to sell 345 pairs. How many pairs of shoes did they not sell? Okay, so can you, what are the numbers? Someone raise your hand and tell me the numbers. We need a circle. Janice, give, give me the uh, numbers. Circle 162. 162. 345. 345. Okay, can someone tell me the key words? Raise your hand. Go ahead. Give me not, a keyword. Not. Not? Not. Yes, in big bold letters. That means it's a big keyword. Someone tell me the qu the question. Not. Tell me tell me the question. Luis? How many pairs of shoes did they not sell? How many uh, pairs of shoes did they not sell? Good job. Can okay, someone tell me the unnecessary information we don't need? That means it needs to be eliminated. Griselda. Okay. A show store. Show store. Okay, it doesn't need to be there. So we know that the goal was to was 345 pairs. This was the goal. How many uh, pairs did they did they sell? 162. 162. So this is what they sold, and this was the goal. And this is what we need to know. How many how many uh, pairs of shoes did they not sell? So what are we using here? Can someone tell me what, what operation we're using here? Alejandra. Um, difference. The difference? Yeah. So tell me tell me how you will write it down. Minus one sixty two. Good job. Okay. Can can some can people help me solve this problem? So Juliana, start with the ones. Five minus two equals three. Okay, the next one. Alexander, tell me how you, how do I go to the tens? You can not subtract four minus six, so you you go you go to the hundreds and borrow. Okay, we're gonna go borrow some sugar from the hundreds place. So how what happens here? It turns to a two. Two, two, two. and what does the tens turns into? Fourteen. Fourteen. So this turns into a fourteen. 
So 14 minus 6? 8. Okay. And what happens to the hundreds place, Natalie? Um, 2 minus 1 equals 1. 1, okay. So it's 183. So we found out that the number of shoes that they did not, pairs of shoes they did not sell was 183. So that question mark becomes 183. So we know what it is now. So what's the answer? It's 183. 183. Circle your answer, okay? What is it asking? How much is there in How much is there in all? How are you going to find that how much there is in all? 4 plus 2 is? Okay, circle your answer. Solving problems. Okay, what did we use to solve problems? Melody. Cube. We used the cube. Okay. What other what other strategy strategies we did we use? For subtracting. We're subtracting and adding. Okay, Kevin. Multiplying. Multiplying. Anytime you go to the store, you're always doing problem solving. You're always adding or subtracting. Like I said before, you if your mom gives you money, you want to buy some. You want to buy a ball. You want to buy a game then you know how much money you have and how much money you need to buy that certain thing, okay?